Hello and welcome back to another episode of Barmicide Walks Through Suikoden 2. So we are heading into Green Hill because the gates are locked. Who knew? <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> um, so we are going to be making our way through a forest path here. Now I may cut, you know, in and out. Good job, Zanza. Um because I will be farming for recipe um, 34, which is the Do-Re-Mi Elves, which is the second to the last glitched recipe that we want to get. We're almost to the point where we can go to the kitchen with Hayo and turn in our recipes and start doing the, the, <laughs> the awesome mini game of uh, the cook-offs. So one of my favorite things to do in the game um, off camera, I took care of a few errands while I was at the castle anyway. I, um, I actually equipped the shredding on Wakaba where she had her canopy defense from the couple episodes ago. Uh, for nice Sansa. I accidentally skipped forward. He gained a few levels there. Um, I haven't used them in a while. I, it, if you are observing, you can see I spent, um, Lots of money, because I was almost at the cap already, so I figured it'd be worth it to, um, hello Highland Soldiers, um, to spend some money on weapon upgrades. One of those was Zamza, uh, just a few other random people, while, you know, just for fun, went to Tinto City to upgrade to level 13, so... Zamza's up to snuff now. I, I put some armor on him too, just stuff lying around. Um, and sharpened weapons. Put the shredding that we got on Wakaba. That's just gonna come in handy uh, later for pretty, uh, pretty hard. Uh, well, he's not too hard. I, I know we'll be able to do pretty well against this boss. Um, but if you are struggling, he's weak against the wind, so having a wind magic um, scroll on somebody will help. Um, so we haven't seen any do re -Mi elves quite yet. The target girl can actually drop a waking rune and a nymph rune. Uh, nymph is pretty useless. I think we may have gotten one before. Um, but the waking rune, I believe, this is the only place to actually get it, aside from Sid automatically having it equipped onto him. So, uh, just, just for fun, um, if you're looking for a 100% item game completion, completionist thing, you know. Um, something to also note here is that um, groups of Highland soldiers can possibly drop iron boots. I think it's one of the archers, if I remember correctly. Um, basically, um, there's only one character that we haven't got yet, which we'll get later on, that has iron boots, and um, they can't be removed. You know, it comes equipped, but can't be removed type of thing. Holy crap, them though. Um, keep, keep on leveling up. Everybody's getting a good chunk of, good chunk of experience. Of course, the fried fish balls I happened to sell because I was like, I never get balloon anyway, and then Stallion gets balloon. Dang it! <laughs> don't know how far I can proceed. I don't want to go like too far. Windy boots. I sold some uh, items and stuff just to clear up some inventory space too, so, um, oh yeah, and boots, pretty sweet, um, I don't want to remove any of those stuff from my hero though, the magic ring, you are already pretty powerful with your magic loot, let's do that, you're already pretty fast, but magic ring plus 15 to magic though, jeez, pulse of strength, alright, well, this wing boots can go on walk of a star earrings. Um, yes, yeah, we'll do that. Walk up needs a dream robe. So here we'll want to equip this. Always pass it. Where'd it go? 
Where are you? Oh, duh. Right there. Impervious to attacks. Holy moly. So we'll put this on Walkable since she's in the front row anyway, right? So we are just kind of... Haha! -ha, these are the do re mi elves that drop the recipe and it's a 2% chance of actually getting it. So we're going to do our best. Um... As far as attacking, just kind of do whatever. Uh, we want to break up the group, so because they're they're in separate groups for attacking patterns, type of thing. I don't know, if spreading out the attacks like that is good. Knock down one, noise, and all the crit the crits, critical hits. Um, I think we broke them up pretty well. Only one guy gets to attack. Half the attack, though, to Xanta. He's pretty slow. He should get the boots. If only. Um, so... I may just kind of run around in circles and farm. Um, off camera, essentially. To see... Just so I can make sure that I get this right now. Um, I won't advance too much farther. Stone of Skill... Won't advance to the next screen at least. How about that? So we'll get up to the next screen and then we'll. I'll just kind of float around this area, just keep fighting uh, Do Re Mi Elves. Kind of what I did with the, uh, the Eagle Men in the Cobalt Forest. Oh, nice boost, enemy! Nobody gonna be left for you to hit though. I wish you could keep the boost in between battles. Boom, boom! Um, nice, Samza. He's already pretty much caught up, and my money's almost all, huh, all the way caught up, too. So, we'll, I'll just kind of be here, and then I will show you guys. Hopefully, if we did everything right, um, I'll show you me getting recipe 34. We haven't turned anything in yet. This is one of the hardest recipes to get. So, like, this is the one that everybody complains about that they don't get. That the flag triggers and um, for turning the recipes into Hayo. But we've been keeping them, uh, the glitch recipes at least, in our. Um, basically, in our bag for now. I put it in Barbara at one time, but. Um, some of the recipes, but they, it seemed like it's not affected by the glitch. It, it is when you turn it into Hayo himself, so we just have been avoiding going to the restaurant completely, um, because we don't want to accidentally turn anything in. Wow! They hit hard. Hopefully we have enough healing spells. Jeez, please. If not, then we can always go back and um, go to our castle and, and rest up for a bit. Japanese stew, huh? And that is that actually the recipe here? I have it over here. Um, yeah, that's actually what the recipe is for. The Japanese stew. Um, so it just sucks. I wish I would have just got the recipe itself. So we have plenty of... Why don't I just use that up? Why not? all around. Everybody needs some Japanese stew. Good meal in the middle of the forest. Um, so I will cut right here and I will see you guys when I get it.
Yes! 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 I am very excited. I'm kind of glad I didn't have the uh, the microphone on when <laughs> I was recording this. Um, because I said a few expletives in a happy way. You know, like how, how women cry at their wedding. This was like that, but more swearing. Um, <laughs> I got recipe 34. It has been about two hours. Um, yes, which kind of sucks. But I, I am so stoked right now that it has not been glitched. Um... I, I'm baffled. So, I, we have one more to go, and I hear it's not as hard. It could be as hard, just because, uh, but that's the most famous one. Um, <laughs> that is such a pain, you know, infamously a pain. So, I will, uh, I'm gonna run a few errands, and I will meet you guys back here in Green Hill. Um, I'll probably, since everybody's like leveled up and stuff, I'll, I'll go get the hero from the last game and replace Stallion here, so I will be right back! Okay, so we're back in the woods here, and we are just gonna venture forth like we were earlier. Um, I guess I'll, I'll show the battles again, because we shouldn't get into too many, I guess. Now that I say that, of course we're gonna get into a bunch. Um, but, as you can see, I have uh, Brandon McDowell in the party, um, the bottom right. So he'll level up a little bit, uh, possibly in these woods. Everybody else is pretty much as high as they can go as far as this area. They, they just get a little bit of experience, see? Um, but being 49... He'll be able to level up a little bit more. I spent money. I keep spending money. I'm just upgrading people's weapons randomly. Uh, it's way easier. Oh, excuse me. Way easier after this segment. Um, but I'll get into that later. Um, but for now, I just I feel like I need to burn a little bit of the money because we're getting a lot just even from this area. So, the only thing I, I didn't get, I, I got the waking rune, actually, um, while I was trying to get recipe 36, uh, but I did not get the nymph, and I have not gotten these, these boots that they're supposed to drop, so I'm giving up on those. Um, it's not that big of a deal, to be completely honest. See, of course, we, we get into a bunch of fights, but we could take care of them pretty easily uh, with the auto. I'm just kind of surprised it's taking more than, you know, one turn, essentially. The These Hollies have a lot of health, uh, but Zamza, they're weak against fire. That's why Zamza does so much damage. Uh, everybody's targeting. Oh, okay. They split the targets up, so Luke's not going to get all of it. Um, try to get rid of them this turn. Let's do it. Um, I took the resurrection rune, I don't know if I told you, um, off of Luke a while ago. Um, and I instead I put the... Hey, I got... Oh, a pixie. Um, that's pretty common, to be honest, right? Yeah, long range for staff. We don't need that. We can buy that anyway. Um, I got the... I put... Uh, what I put? Barrier rune. So it's his magic, his total magic divided by 10. That's the percentage of uh, chance that he'll block uh, spells. So he's at like 220 some. Uh, so he gets a 21% chance. Um, or 200. Yeah, he's in the teens or early 20s. So he's like 21, 22% chance of. Uh, blocking some some spells, which is actually pretty neat. Um, I could have also done the wizard rune, which would uh, increase his magic, but I feel like it's so high anyway. Um, it would be unnecessary, but you know, I'm all about being, being unnecessarily strong. Oh. My phone didn't even ring, it just kind of said miss call all of a sudden. I will... 
call my wife. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. My wife called. Uh, which, you know <laughs> that you have to take that. <laughs> um, actually, it's a. Uh, she, she's just getting out of her uh, baby shower, um, which is hard to believe. I went from. I guess when I started this, we were dating. We weren't even engaged. <laughs> to, uh... <laughs> to being married and having a baby. Oh, gosh. I need to finish... I need to finish this up. <laughs> um... We are. One episode at a time. We're, we're, we're chipping away at this. Just been... Been at it for too long. Um... I d didn't mean for it to drag out, but... Life. You know life. That little thing. Ah. Um, you understand. Um, so, where was I? What was I talking about? I don't know. People leveling up, people battling, people doing things. My episode time is going to be so jacked up. Future Brandon's not going to have fun uh, editing this at all. It'll be kind of easy because it'll just be cutting large chunks out at a time, but it's like, dang it, large file sizes are not fun for my laptop. Um, it just doesn't like it too much. Um, <laughs> it's a decent, you know, laptop. It is a few, you know, definitely from college, you know, a few years old, several years old now. Uh, I want to build a PC eventually, um, but you know, baby takes priority. <laughs> that will be when I have, you know, just extra money just burn it in my pocket, which will totally happen, right? Totally won't go into the abyss that is children. <laughs> um, no, well, we'll see. I just need to get situated first before, I get, especially because my computer still works just fine, you know, for what I need it to do. It's a good computer, so it's not like it's slowing down majorly, or I've kept it pretty clean and, and taken care of it type of thing, so um, we'll see. That'll be down the road. Wait for uh, solid states to go cheaper. Even cheaper, I should say. They've, they've definitely dropped in price uh, prices this past, uh, past few years, I would say. They're still expensive, but <laughs> I hope I'm not dating myself. Um, maybe dating myself would be the right term. I just hope that I'm not dating this episode. Like, you, you're watching this in the future and be like, what are you talking about? Solid state hard drive. Blah. We're into holographic hard drives now. Mer. Or solid state, those are like two bucks. Oh, technology and how it goes cheaper. Um, so we're just continuing on in the path. I think we, we have all of the uh, treasure chests here, so. Oh, I'm so glad I got that recipe. So I'm just so excited to be able to get the last one, which is, um, well, there's technically two, I should say. There's uh, recipe 29, which is a drop from zombie slugs. Um, now, the thing is about that is I don't think there's a recipe that you can turn in that will make it so it, they won't drop it. Um, why do they mark this as a glitched recipe? It may be because you can get it twice. Hmm. But recipe 36 is a is a drop uh, from Highland Soldiers in an area that's after this event. So um, that can be glitched as well by turning in another recipe that's in the same area. So it's kind of hard to glitch that one. Um, hey, we got another toy boat. Um, it's definitely not impossible because it... Because the glitch recipe is from a dropped enemy, um, you could always turn in the one that you find in a treasure chest later on before you actually get the dropped one. So there's always a chance. Um, I'm 
I just don't have like a game shark or anything to. We'll give up on this. Um, we'll have to like drop. I <laughs> want drop a toy boat. Uh, I have to drop something. Maybe the ancient text or the Japanese stew. Let's just use it up. There. Um. We'll get to that. We're close, and the other ones will be easier. Ah! Lucia! I've been waiting for you, Brandon. And you, woman! Are you Teresa? I will bring this to the conclusion, here and now! Y you're I am daughter of Kinyua, chieftain of the Karia tribe. My name is Lucia! Ooh, interesting. So we get to fight Lucia again. Uh, let's just kick her butt. Oh, by the way, one of the things, Wakaba, uh, leveled up enough and has a second rune available. So I put the balance rune on her. Why? Because now she can never become unbalanced from her white tiger. So technically I can just do that each and every time. So that's pretty sweet. Um, we'll just attack everybody else. hi -ya! Get wrecked. I don't know why I did it on her. Nice. McDoll does a lot of damage. And Zanza is is nice with his, you know, flame boosts essentially. Uh, while not being damaged, he's not getting the penalty for it. You know what? We haven't done. I forgot about the double leader attack. We haven't done the family attack in a while. Um, Wakaba, why don't you just keep doing your white tiger? You do you. Same with you, Zanza. Just keep doing double damage, and you have the double beat. Rune, so we'll be able to kick her butt. Even though technically our hero has the double beat, he probably would do more damage just attacking normally, but 700 can't argue with that. Um, she's not too difficult. She does have a uh, fire rune, I believe, so she'll attack wide areas. Um, as evidence from when she attacked us um, in the bedroom. Maybe. What? <laughs> um, not in that way. But I'm surprised she hasn't used it yet, because I think we'll just kind of wipe her out right here. I haven't even had to use Luke here. Um, just conserve his magic spells, even though we always have plenty of magic. Still another attack. I'm surprised she's still standing after the beating. Yes. Huzzah! An enemy levels up. Ooh, a blue gauge rune. Damn! Why do you think of us as enemies? Listen to yourself, woman of Green Hill. I never thought I'd hear such words from you. What are you talking about? We, the people of Karia, have been caught up in countless foolish wars with you and have always been oppressed. And just when some measure of harmony was in sight, your father, Alec, and Gordo of Matilda poisoned my father to death at a peace council. They assassinated him! They probably thought that since a girl was next in line to be chieftain, they could control us. A most foolish strategy indeed. All the Karia are warriors, men, women, it doesn't matter. My father did what? I understand. When this war is over, I will investigate your claims. If they prove true, I swear on my father's... I swear my father's sin will be acknowledged and you will be compensated. For now, I ask you to believe in us. Lord Brandon is different from my father and from the past rulers of the city-state. I ask that you watch our struggle and decide for yourself. Hmm. I am defeated. I cannot stop you. Lucia. 
deeper character than we think. Let's hurry. And that's what I love about Suikoden. And we are in a spot where we've been before. Do re mi Um. It's just... <laughs> we met this lady. What? An episode ago? And we already have... She's already more complex than just like, I'm evil! Attack! So great. And I just love the setup for the next game, too. Alright, Luke? I'm surprised McDole hasn't leveled up a little bit more, considering that everybody else went up to 54 at least. But that's after a lot of battles. I... I don't run away too often, which maybe I should, but... Remember, this is the last time that you can get the... What'd I say? Iron boots? Let me see... Do, do, do. Yes, iron boots from the Highland guys, and I, like I said, I think they're the the archers. Are they, are they still archers if they're holding a crossbow? Crossbowmen, bowmen, archers. It's just archer with a different type of. Hooray! Leveling up. All right. Well, it doesn't look like we're destined to get the the iron boots here, so I'm not too worried about it. You worried about it? I'm not worried about it. Here is the cabin. Oh gosh, more Highland Soldiers. And if you leave and come back, the Highland Soldiers are reset. Um, so that's kind of good if you are if you really want the Iron Boots or something. Um, so... Boom. It's not a bad area for money farming, to be honest, because they give you a decent amount of potch uh, for this battle. Like I said, I've, I've emptied my funds like two, three times now just trying to farm for the uh, recipe from the Do-Re-Mi Elves and I'm already almost back up. Um, so, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Uh, we should be close. A couple more screens at that. Um... Yeah, like I said, my my episode timing is all messed up. I have these huge files, and I don't know how long the episode actually is until basically when I get into editing. So hopefully it's not too long for you. I will probably end it as soon as we get into this part, um, get into Green Hill, and then we'll make that a separate, maybe shorter episode. Sorry for, I mean, showing all the battles, I guess. I've just been talking so much. Uh, usually I try to cut them out, but it's not bad actually showing them, right? I know it's a lot of auto battles. Um, it gives me time to, to talk, say what's on my mind and stuff, and I give this up. Got a million of those. Um, oh my gosh. Alright. Jeez. Um, I told you <laughs> we're gonna hit all the battles. I, I, I jinxed myself from the beginning. Zamza so slow. I'm surprised, but I guess the the Grandpa Holly's there. Eh, Grandpa Holly. I think they're slower than Zamza, so he's able to attack before they do. Get rid of them. All right. Hooray! We made it to Green Hill! We'll go in the school. And I will leave it right here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time when we try to retake the city. Until then.